Hi, I'm Michael Studebaker, founder here at Studebaker Metals. I wanted to talk a little bit about tools today. One of the things that initially excited me about metalsmithing was seeing all the tools in the shop and learning how to use them. One of the most basic tools in our shop is the hammer, of which we have many, all with very specific uses. I'm going to go over a few of them here. First up, we have a 2.2 pound Swedish pattern forging hammer. This thing is the backbone of our business and an absolute workhorse in the cuff making process. It's used to stretch and manipulate the metal into various shapes and sizes, featuring a heavy head secured to a long handle for leverage. One end of the head is long and narrow, called the cross beam, which focuses the energy of the hammer blow to allow us to more aggressively stretch the material. The other end is broad and flat and used for multi-directional stretching, the type of forging that defines our workshop cuff. Up next, we have a one pound forging hammer, also known as a locksmith's hammer. The lighter head allows for more delicate and precise forging for things like our cuff rings and other small parts, but what we really love about this hammer is its narrow cross beam and the texture it imparts. This is how we create the deep, elongated hammer marks featured on our Bessemer cuff. Another very important hammer in our shop is our standard planishing hammer. Planishing is a process in which we use many light hammer blows to compress the surface of the metal and refine the details of our forging. It can also be used to polish the surface of a cuff while creating a beautiful faceted texture with each blow. Finally, we have a slightly different planishing hammer that we use for a few different operations, mostly for texturing sheet for items like our money clip and tag chain necklace. What I love most about this particular tool is its history visible in its incredible patina. The way the paint on the handle is worn shows that this thing has been well loved and has passed through many talented hands. This is just a brief overview of some of our most basic tools. There is so much more to share. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about our tools and our process because I absolutely love talking about them. And if you want to learn more, please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments. Thank you.